Hi everyone, in this quick um, haul pickup video, um, I'm going to show you a few stuff I managed to pick up. Um, I haven't done a haul video for a while, so because it's kind of chill winter time in central London, most of our um, car boot cells uh, tend to be smaller and it's very you know there's not many sellers about so this is only a bit of uh, bits of pieces I picked up I show you what I managed to pick up and I because it's winter time it's chill and life Sometimes I'm lazy getting out there sourcing stuff I shouldn't be because end of the day I'm running a business and I should uh, concentrate on the business so I'll have to get my act sorted and get more and get going so here we are and I'll show you what I managed to pick up and how much I pay for this right right this is uh, quite interesting it's always sellable um, logo millionaire i've sold a few in the past and um the box is in relatively fantastic condition no tear uh yet to check it out if anything missing inside hopefully they showed nothing missing i paid two quid for it normally on a quick sell you're looking at 14 15 quid next uh this is so nice. Look, disgusting. Look at this. And this pair of ladies uh, rebook um, needs a bit of TLC, a bit of cleaning. I will do it. Um, it's okay. Good, 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 good wash through the washing machine and cleaning. Paid a a pound so you know this is quite good condition very good not bad so after I cleaned it up I possibly put down to about so about 14 15 quid I guess something like that excellent so I see how that go on that one then next this um this pair of um Nike Air. Now, if I come around here, now I paid 25 quid for them. They're literally brand new. And the guy assured me he only worn about a couple of times, and he's quite right because if you look at it, it is in absolutely immaculate condition and this same thing here again hardly any marks or anything because he hasn't worn it it's a brand new if you can if you see if I can show you still has the has those um, stickers inside them like new stickers in there so I paid £25 for them and I am not sure I'm going to have to check it out. They go for about 80 quid, I think. So I'll be putting this up on the top end. Um, I'm looking about 55 something like that. See how I, I'm going to do there. Now here, these are the these are a couple of ink cartridges I picked up actually from Tesco's believe it or not it was a discontinued stock for them and they priced these at 50p each so I've grabbed them I'm gonna put up in a bundle and see how they go on get on so that's um, quite good by there. The next uh, I've got um, 
three HP nine oh one um in cartridge. Uh, Chappy wanted a uh, 150 each, so I bought it down to quid each, so I paid three quid. And I possibly would put them in a bundle, or I'll see, I probably put them individually, see how they go along. The next one is a very interesting because, as you know, I always buy, <coughs> excuse me, I always buy uh, American baseball caps. And this baseball cap is very interesting because I never come across one yet, and this is absolutely stunning. It's hardly been used, and it's uh, like a tropical scenery. As you can see, all these coconut trees and palm trees and sunshine, and somebody may buy it to take on holiday, some tropical destination, I guess. Yeah, excellent. I paid again. I paid two quid for them. I had two quid for this item. Uh, a baseball bat. Sorry, baseball cap. I should have said. Okay. Now here, I bought this um, Nintendo Wii bundle. I paid five quid. And silly me, I did not check out. I took. Uh, bought at home and I found the the controller missing. Great, so I paid five quid for them. But it does have the all the uh, connectors, you know, the electrical connector. But um, the um, the control, the playing controller is missing. So you got. So I need to get hold of two of the the controllers. To flag that and then I have sold that before for $29.99 so as soon as I get those controllers I may end up just selling without the controller or if I could find controller I get two of those and put it up you're looking about $29.99 on those one the next item I picked up it's quite interesting because I used to watch uh, Carling Black Label advert on TV years ago and I've seen this uh, Carling Black Label um, la Jag and uh, I was instantly drawn to this Carling Black Label yeah, it's, it's fine, it needs a bit of cleaning yeah and I paid a pound for it I don't know how much they're selling for I'll have to have a look on that one the next couple of items are good as usual, Converses yeah this one quite interesting. I like the color of it. It's like a purple or um, color. Yeah, size. Uh, let's have a look. Size. Yeah. Size seven. Yeah. Very good condition. Excellent condition. All I need to do is just. Um, yeah, use a wipe and get rid of the those, um, dark marking on the toe cap and I'm ready to literally to go, yeah, just to list it. I may list it as it is, yeah. Paid, uh, well I paid a bit on that one, 8 quid, but easily that would go for 25, 24, 99, something like that. The next one again, Converse, yeah, all white, yeah. There we go, uh, all star, yeah. These are quite good seller, yeah. What I'm going to do is put the usual to the washing machine, yeah. Clean it up, paid three quid. Again, on between 15 to 20, possibly a bit more, yeah. And um, yeah, I'm just stocking up for summertime, so even if they don't sell, that easily will go in summer. The next item is this ladies or men or children, high top or um, Jordans, Nike Jordans, I think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jordan. 
I think personally it's very good condition, it's almost new, nothing wrong with it. Uh, absolutely brilliant condition. I have I did pay a bit over to the top with this one. This um pair of trainer paid fifteen quid. But easily I'm looking at thirty five to forty quid back on that trainer easy. So I'll get my money back. Oh, this is quite interesting. Somebody's um it's one of these store drawer three storage plastic drawer. Plastic yeah. Storage unit, yeah. Yeah, I paid a quid for that. That's not bad. And the next item on the back of this queue is one of these baby monitors. You know, Tommy is a fantastic brand and I've sold so many of them. Similar stuff, so yeah. I paid three quid. Easily 14, 15 quid back on them. It does have its original box bit few bit tears on top but inside is condition is good and it's in is plastic forming inside so it's quite nice excellent now this is very interesting in back of the queue here now I I haven't picked one of these up before it's a nerve mega centurion one of these pump action yeah nerf gun now look at how how tall and long it is it's kind of it works you know and um, it works now the chap he wanted 15 quid for it and i thought he's over the top you know and then I personally I don't know I think I made a mistake but I've paid 10 quid for it and by all checking I've noticed that they're going for about 27 top end you're looking about 35 quid and the bottom end you're looking about 20 quid so that will cost me <laughs> to post it is going to cost me five six quid and so I'm not sure but I hopefully I'll get my money back anyway so next time I have to be more cautious when I'm buying this stuff you know sometimes it's not worth picking these up even though so I have to wait probably till summer to get rid of this but let's see if it works here hopefully it works let's go let's pick this up by one hand yeah and I can fire it see if it works ah it does work there you go it works it makes all the right noise there you go and obviously the cartridge is missing so I have to buy some the knife cartridge for that hopefully that will go easily thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos Please click like and subscribe button and I hope I'm providing a bit of a good and valuable information for you. If you're thinking of going into this eBay business, please you know just get going, you know. And I hope you've learned something from this video. And and eBay selling is always ups and downs you're always going to make mistakes and you are to, you're always going to pick up things you think you will be a good seller then you well you do your checks and you find you made a clock up but let's let's look always on the bright side you life is all about making mistakes and learning from your mistakes and you know if you can rectify it and in the future you don't do many and and that's what it's all about, you know, trial and error. 
and over the last two years selling extensively on eBay I've learned so much things and now I tend not to pick up any rubbish uh, when I go to car boot sales and uh, you know I've already might learn my lesson not picking up rubbish I can't sell so thank you so much as I said before please click like and subscribe button and all your comments and everything once again uh, and I hope you'll join me for the next whole video thank you